Hi guys, welcome to this video on the effects of climate change. The first part of this video is going to have a look at how humans are affecting and increasing the amount of climate change that's occurring. So the first way is our combustion of fossil fuels. We need our fossil fuels for loads of different things and when we burn fossil fuels it produces loads of gases, in particular carbon dioxide and water vapour which are our greenhouse gases, obviously increasing climate change. The second method is the extraction, the digging up of oil and natural gas. Now when they're dug up they produce methane or the methane escapes from the ground. Now methane is a much much larger greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide and water vapour. It absorbs a lot more infrared heat. You also get methane from livestock farming. Now in particular cattle, cows, they have bacteria in their stomachs which is used to digest tough grass. When they do that they produce methane. The more cattle you have, the more methane given off, the bigger the effect on climate change. There's also bacteria in landfill sites, which also produces methane, which also leads to climate change. So now we've looked at what we're doing to increase these greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, we need to have a look at the effects. So number one is to do with the ice caps melting. So if the average temperature of the earth increases, it's going to mean that our ice caps are going to melt. Now what does that mean? It's going to mean there's less land at the ice caps for our polar bears and other animals to survive on. There's going to be more competition for that land and therefore all the animals are going to be less likely to survive. The second effect that this is going to have is if the ice caps melt, the sea levels are going to rise. And if they rise, it's going to lead to more flooding. With this increase in average temperature, some areas in the world are going to become too hot for some animals as well. Now if that happens and they can't move to a cooler climate, then they might become extinct. The next area we're going to look at is extreme weather. Now it might make some parts of the world drier. If that happens, it's going to make it really, really difficult for plants to grow. And in some parts of the world, it might become a lot wetter. And then you've got all the other different types of extreme weather, such as heat waves, powerful storms, or heavy rainfall. And then the final major effect is if we increase the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, if you remember back to the beginning of the atmosphere topic, carbon dioxide dissolves in seawater. So the more carbon dioxide you have, the more is going to dissolve, and if it dissolves, it's going to lower the pH of the seawater. If the pH decreases, it means that some of the animals, for example fish, may not be able to survive, they might be killed out by those decreased pH levels. Okay, final part of the video, limiting the impact. So we need to have a look at what we can do to reduce climate change. And the really obvious one, the main one, is renewable energy. Now the beauty of that is it reduces gas emissions. We're not going to have as many greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, we're not going to increase it. However, it might already be too late. It's not going to do nothing to reduce or lessen the amount of greenhouse gases already there, and it's not going to lessen the climate change that's already happening. So what else can we do? Now some people have suggested do something to reflect the sun's rays back. Now I don't mean build a large mirror, but the idea is very similar. Reflect the sun's rays back. If we do that, the advantage is less greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. However, it's really, really difficult to do. It's not an easy task. Another suggestion has been to capture the carbon dioxide and bury it underground. If it's underground, it's not in the atmosphere. If it's not in the atmosphere, it's not leading to climate change. However, that all revolves around one thing, cooperation. If, let's say, the UK decided they were going to do it, but the US and China didn't, then it's not going to work. We need all the countries to work together for that to be an effective method. Now, there are some other ideas, flood defences, building dams and building irrigation systems, which are ways to grow plants in areas where they're not likely to grow. However, these are all short-term fixes. So the advantage is it's not going to damage the environment, it's going to help the environment, the local area, but it's short term, it's not actually reducing climate change. And that really is everything you need to know for this video. So I've got three questions for you, let's have a look at them. Number one, state three human activities that lead to climate change and suggest the gases produced for each. So for this, each mark you need to state a human activity and then tell me the gases that produces, in particular the greenhouse gases. Question two, explain one of the negative effects of climate change. So choose any one of the negative effects that I've talked about in this video and go into a bit of detail on it. Number three, 
suggest a way to limit climate change and give an advantage and a disadvantage of this method. So think through what are the positives, what are the negatives of the methods that we talked about earlier on in the video. Pause the video, have a go at the questions and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So question one, state three human activities that lead to climate change and suggest the gases produced for each. So if we start off with combustion then, the burning of fossil fuels, what gases do that produce? Carbon dioxide and water vapour. So you get one mark for mentioning combustion produces carbon dioxide and water vapour. The second method that you could have put is digging up oil or natural gas and that releases methane. Livestock farming, that also releases methane. And then bacteria at landfill sites produces methane. So all of those final three ones produce methane, so make sure you've said that. One mark for each maximum of three. Question two, explain one of the negative effects of climate change. So let's start off with the ice caps melting. If the ice caps melt, what does it lead to? More competition for the animals or the animals' habitats being destroyed. Either of those gets you the second mark. Bear in mind you must link the negative effect to the explanation to get your two marks. You can't just say two different things. So for example, if you put ice caps melting and sea levels rising, that's not going to get you two marks because you haven't done your explanation. So the second one we've got here is ice caps melting, sea level rising, which causes more flooding. That's your explanation. Number three, it becomes too hot for some of the animals. So that's your first mark. If they can't find a cooler climate, they could become extinct. That's your second mark. And then you've got your extreme weather. Then just give an example of that extreme weather that could happen. Drier climates, wetter climates, powerful storms, heat waves, heavy rain, any one of those to go with your extreme weather is your explanation. And then finally, more carbon dioxide dissolving into the oceans gets you one mark, lowers the pH, which could kill marine life, is your explanation. Final question then, suggest a way to limit climate change and explain the advantages and disadvantages of this method. If we start off with renewable energy, it reduces your emissions, that's your advantage. However, it may be too late to lessen the effects we already see. Reflecting sunlight, good thing about that is you've got less heat energy hitting the earth, so less heat absorbed. However, it's very difficult to do, is your third mark. Capture and bury the carbon dioxide. Again, it seems like a great idea because it's going to reduce the carbon dioxide levels currently in the atmosphere. However, all the countries must work together or it won't work. If one country is doing it but none of the others are, it's not going to affect the levels of carbon dioxide. And then the final one is either flood defences, build dams or irrigation systems. Benefit of that is it reduces damage to the local environment. However, it's a short-term fix or it doesn't solve climate change. And that really is everything you need to know. So, there's a review question, which is explain why an increase in the global population may affect the climate and what can be done to limit the effect. So again, thinking back through everything we've talked about in this video, more people, what's that going to mean in terms of burning fossil fuels, in terms of need for food and livestock? Put all that together and then think about what can we do to make sure that climate change is reduced. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.